Joe Persky, a world-class runner who has competed in over 100 marathons, winning 20 of them, is perhaps in the hardest race of his political life. Persky is a Democrat who is vying to represent Minnesota's most conservative district in the U.S. Congress. The opportunity to run this race came as a surprise to Persky, but now he is fully invested in winning this race. Actually, it came to me as quite a surprise. Uh, you know that Michelle Bachman had pulled out of the race, and shortly after that, uh, Jim Graves had pulled out of the race, and it wasn't more than a few days after that, and actually Jim Graves called me up and said, Joe, I want you to run for Congress. He says, Joe, you've been the mayor of Sartell, you've been on the council in Sartell, you know the people of central Minnesota. You know, you're born and raised there, you connect with them so well. You don't have a political ideology that's going to take you away from that. You're going to go there and, and represent the people. He says, I think you can win the 6th District. Persky said the decision to run for Congress was not an easy one. It will mean that he will no longer be the mayor of Sartell, a job he loves. And he has had to take a leave of absence from another one of his passions, as he has put his teaching career on hold. But for Persky, he believes that people are ready for a change in Washington, a change he believes he can deliver. People are sick of the polarizing politics. They want to change. They, they, they want uh, government to work for them instead of what we've seen. Persky has served on the Sartell City Council for the past decade, but in no way does he consider himself a politician. He believes that this could work to his advantage in Washington. I don't come with any what I consider political baggage. I, 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 I come in as a mayor. Our focus has always been what's best for the city of Sartell, what's best for the people, whether it was as a mayor or as a council person. Same thing as a teacher. Uh, I've always worked interaction with people, trying to do what's best for their children. Uh, as a coach, 10 years of varsity coach, always wor working with those girls, uh, you know, how, how can we make them better individuals, better players? And, and the focus has always been about people, not a political ideology. And, and again, if we come away from that, I really think we can move this country forward because we've lost it. We, we, we sit there with the political bleachers cheering the Democrats, the Republicans, almost like we're Packer or, or Vikings fans. And we've got to, again, come away from that and focus on what's best for America. Persky has opinions on a variety of issues facing Congress and the nation. When asked about the threat of ISIS and the current U.S. response, Persky voiced approval for the tactics being used by the president. We obviously have to realize the graveness of this situation. We have so much at, at, at stake here. And that's why I, I, I get so disappointed where I see the politics coming inside. It, it, it's almost that the pre president can be criticized. He's doing too much. He's, he, he's being too strong or he's not being strong enough. Okay, But by all means, ISIS has to be addressed. There's no question about it. I do like the president's plan of drawing a coalition together of other forces. We can't go in there and do it alone. We have to make sure that we have other nations that are going to help us do it. And, and that goes with the neutral countries as well. They have to understand what we're going to attempt to do there and, and, and get it done. ISIS has to be isolated and obviously has to be contained and taken out. Otherwise, there, there'll never be any form of uh, settlement and, and, and somewhat peace, I guess, in that area. On another topic, Persky has said he wants to find out what Americans can agree on when it comes to health care, and then look for a way forward. Do we want health care for some Americans, or do we want health care for all Americans? Can we agree on that? Next thing, what about uh, pre-existing conditions? That was one of the parameters of the Affordable Care Act. Should we exclude people that have diabetes, cancer, or some condition? Where do they get their insurance? We've got to make sure we include them. Also, the ability for a person to stay on their... Uh, parents plan until they're 26 years old. Is, is there anything wrong with that? We know that these folks are getting their lives started. Staying under that plan gives them coverage until they can move on with their lives. And then the, 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 the last pillar of, of the Affordable Care Act with the 80-20 rule, that at least 80% of those dollars are going back to patient care, not going to CEO salaries, not going to administrative costs, not going into building infrastructure to, for uh, their office space or whatever. Okay, it's going back to patient care. Now you can call it what you want. You want to call it Obamacare, affordable care, but let's work together, Democrats, Republicans together, and let's come up with a plan that actually we've been trying to get to for decades, and I think we can do it. There are two main messages that Persky wants to bring to the voters in the 6th District. First, he will work hard to fix what he calls a broken and deadlocked Congress. I talk about the gridlock. And again, the, the gridlock that's killing us. 
And, and we need to come away from that. I don't get a, a, a come under with, with strong DFL letters behind me. I come with the idea that I'm going to come and serve the people. And I will work for what's ever best for the people, whether it be a Democratic solution, a Republican solution, or another solution just coming out there that needs to be embraced. That's what's going to take us forward. His second main message is that he will be a listener and approachable. Doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican or what you are. I'm going to listen to what you've got to say and try to do the best I can to, to accommodate what you're telling me, not that I'm necessarily going to agree with it. And I'm going to try to do what's best for, for the people of this district. Joe Persky has stood atop the podium after winning marathons. If he is able to give the Democrats their first victory in the 6th District since the year 2000, it might go down as his most impressive win ever. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.